Hello everyone, Rosette Hello. is my name and I'm your tour guide and this is Kaliango village where we are. This is Kaliango village around Nyakasura school along Bundumujo road. It is 7.5 km well drive from town to the main road and after the main road you drive one more from to the side to highly welcome. And Amaverega in Amir is the most tourism site around Fort Porto with the following features. Here at Amavere, we normally have the future like waterfall, namely the Nakasura waterfalls. We have polar caves known as Amavere. We have three crater lakes. One crater lake we call it Lake Chigere. And that Lake Chigere was formed as a result of volcanic eruption. And we have got the third crater we call it Lake Saka. Lake Saka is a lava dammed lake and a it's the lava dam lake and uh, it's all do fishing from. Saka yeah. have outlet and inlet which means they are narrow. Mm -hmm. And here at Amavera we do hiking. We have a hill is called Chiegenya Hill. And Chiegenya, you know, it means fairy. And that hill was referred to the mountain at 390 meters above the sea level. On the top of that hill, you'll be able to see, to see the Kruta Three Crater Lake. Chigere, Wabikere, and Saka. You can view the Renzo Ranges. You view the mountains of the Moon University as well. You can view the whole Fort Porto on the top of that hill. Yeah, and here at Amavera, we normally have two sections of cave. We have got an active cave and dormant cave. Active cave, it's where you find waterfall. But with this waterfall, they are coming from the Renzo Ranges, just passing underground as well. And behind the cave, there is a swamp called Kamteri Swamp, also forms the fall. And you know these things are both geographical feature and historical. On the first cave, you'll be able to see the geographical feature like the stalagmite and stalactites. Those are roofs. The one formed down, what the, we call it the stalagmite, and the upper one we call it the stalactites. Up. And those stalagmite form down, is the one keeps growing after growing they change the lactates they form what we call the pillar and the pillar hope the cave to stand calm yeah one year one inch one year one inch you can take a thousand years to join us <coughs> from the pillar even on the first scale you'll be able to see the milk amata it is the milk sabotas <coughs> that is like talish and bicarbonate you can't drink the milk on the second cave, you'll be able to see Namiru's breast. The one called it Amavere than Namiru. And those breasts was formed on the segmental rock. All in all, we call it the stalactites because they are up, even the, from the ceiling of the cave. Even on the second cave, you'll be able to see the pits for cow. Cows are the, their phone number. And then the two columns up are the pits for dog. In case if you need photo, you first remove the flashlight because of this. We have the third cave. It's a man-made cave for Namiru that you sleep from. In case if you need photo, you can go into that cave and have some photo. And we have got the fourth cave and it is the last cave. Historically, it was a sitting room for Namirus, but it's a myth not a myth. In short brief, the history attached to Amira Gaminameru originates from the famous clan of New York Star Empire. Isn't it possible we can talk about this as we are moving? No. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in short mm. brief, the history attached to Amira Gaminameru originates from the famous clan of New York Star Empire called the Mavagav community known as the Big Dynasty. And that clan of Mavagav was started by Kintu as the first king. And that clan was ruled by 18 kings, including Isaza as the last king. And the history mostly the rotating on Isaza as the last king. Isaza was ruling on the land, and Namir was ruling on the underground king. But Namir wanted to rule both. Namir sent his peers to surround Isaza's place to know that Isaza's the light most. When they reached the place, they realized that Isaza the light cows and ladies a lot and Nyamiyonga sent his daughter called Nyamata you know here in the Toro the name Nyamata means as nice as milk and the name Nyamata is given by lady not by men 
And Nyamata left the underground, went on the way moving with herds of the cows and spear to go to Saza's place. When Nyamata reached Saza's place, it was highly gazetted by Ami, known as the gatekeeper Bukuku. And recently within here, we have the place called Bukuku Sub-County. But that lady Nyamata, he used her spiritual power to pass through the gatekeeper. When Nyamata reached Isaza's place, Isaza saw a beautiful lady called Nyamata and she falls in love. Later on, Nyamata get pregnant. After nine months, he gave a birth to a baby boy whom was given a name called Indahura. And you know those caves also have their name and the first one is Active Cave just because of the waterfall and the second one it is Indahura's cave where we'll be able to see the Nyinamiru's breast and the, the cows adder and the pits for dog. But all in all, Nyinamiru the land and the <laughs> underground. Mm. <laughs> those things were like the twins, they must be known in 10 centuries. Mm. And you know the twins, they didn't die, just they used to disappear. And no one knows what they are still happening. around. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Well, the matures well, they disappear locally. This place of Amawe was a spy the demigods known as our chosen. The people used to come this side to do the prayer and the cultural things, but these days we don't believe in it. But you know, still people have their own place. No, you can't. They normally from. come do the prayer and the cultural things, but we don't allow them to enter into the jungle. What are the kind of It's not good. I'm not really going to go. <laughs> she has come as an enemy. She fight, falls in love. The man she has come to destroy. These are the Maveri, Rio Maveri.